Good day, everyone. My name is Juan Carlo Ramos Torres, a freshman from Visaya State University, currently taking Bachelor's of Science in Agribusiness. And today, we're going to discuss about carbon cycle. First, what is carbon? It is the foundation of all Earth, of all life on Earth required to form complex molecules like proteins and DNA. This element is also found in our atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. Carbon helps to regulate Earth's temperature, makes all life possible, is a key ingredient in the food that sustains us, and provides a major source of the energy to fuel our global economy. It is also used to make an important compound like protein, and DNA as new life emerges. So what are the different types of carbon? Allotropes. It is when a, a chemical element can exist in two or more different forms in the same physical state or phase. This is the carbon in nature. So what are the different types of allotropes? There are three. First is diamond. Diamond have the highest hardness of any bulk, all one type material. Second is graphite, made of layers of carbon atoms. These layers can slide over each other very easily. This means that it is very soft. It can conduct electricity very well. The third is fullerens. It is any molecule composed entirely of carbon in the form of halosphere, ellipsoid, or tube. So, what is carbon cycle? The carbon cycle is nature's mechanism of recycling carbon atoms, which flow from the atmosphere to Earth's creatures and then back into the atmosphere. The majority of carbon is held in rocks and sediments, which the remainder held in the ocean, atmosphere, and living creatures. Carbon cycles pass via these reservoirs, also known as sinks. The ocean acts as a massive carbon sink. Marine organisms from marsh plants to fish, from seaweed to birds, also produce carbon through living and dying. Dead creatures can sometimes be converted into fossil fuels, which are then burned, emitting CO2, and the cycle repeats. So, what are the importance of carbon cycle? There are many. The carbon cycle is crucial in ecosystems because it transports carbon, a life-sustaining ingredient, from the atmosphere and seas to organisms and back again. If the equilibrium between these reservoirs is disrupted significant effects such as global warming and climate disruption could occur scientists are presently investigating how people might obtain energy from sources other than carbon-based fuels alternative energy sources such as nuclear power and solar power wind power and water power are being researched So, these are my references during my discussion. So, thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from me.
Um, once again, thank you and goodbye.